this lecture, we'll present a brief introduction to the concept of resolution in digital images. We'll discuss the manner in which the number of pixels, or equivalently the pixel size, influences spatial resolution in an image, and we'll discuss the way in which the number of color levels in the image color map influences intensity resolution. The concepts of spatial and intensity resolution are both intended to quantify the smallest details that can be perceived or recognized in a digital image. Spatial resolution quantifies the smallest changes in position that can be recognized, and intensity resolution quantifies the smallest changes in brightness that can be recognized. Let's begin by taking a look at the way in which pixel size influences spatial resolution in an image. Here's a photograph of a mandrel that has 800 pixel columns and 1200 pixel rows. Now let's see what this image would look like if there were only 4 pixel columns and 6 pixel rows. Each new pixel will replace the spatial region it covers with one red, one green, and one blue intensity value. The resulting image would look something like this. If we make the pixels twice as small in each dimension, then we'll have 8 pixel columns and 12 pixel rows. This would give us 4 times as many pixels, so each pixel will cover a spatial area that is 4 times as small. However, the resulting image would still make a disappointing photograph. If we have the pixel size again, then the image would look like this. Still ne nearly impossible to resolve any spatial details in this image. Having the pixel size in each dimension yet again begins to resolve some of the image detail. Having again gives us enough resolution to start to recognize the image as one of a mandrel. And one more having makes the photo better yet, although still not a high quality photo like this. Well now let's take a look at intensity resolution. Well here's a color bar image that transitions from a relative brightness of 0 on the left to a relative brightness of 1 on the right. I'm using a grayscale color map that has 128 levels of gray to display this image. And if you look closely at any region of the image, you can see the transitions from one color level to another. Well, here's what the color bar looks like with 64 levels, with 32 levels, with 16, 8, 4, and 2. Now for fun, let's take another look at the color bar with 4 gray levels. This image illustrates an interesting optical illusion. The two color patches in the center of the bar have a uniform intensity throughout. However, it's common for someone to perceive these regions as being brighter at their boundary with a dimmer color and dimmer at their boundary with a brighter color. Here for example is what this region looks like when we isolate it from its neighboring regions. And here's what it looks like when its neighbors are back. Well, here's a black and white image of an old house that uses 128 gray levels to encode its intensity. Here's what it looks like with 64 gray levels. Hard to see much of a difference. It's still hard to see much change at 32 gray levels. But with only 16 levels, we start to see some changes in the sky. And those become more pronounced when we reduce to only 8 levels. At 4 gray levels, the photo is clearly distorted. But even with 2 gray levels, the image is still somewhat recognizable. Well, that's a brief introduction to the concepts of spatial and intensity resolution. We'll take a look at each of these in much more detail in subsequent lectures.